welcome back to chill guys welcome back to the another video and now there is another update ios 26 beta 6 is re-released today and it is on the devices that was already running the beta 6 so if you are already on the beta 6 what you can do is get into settings get into journal and get into the software update and over here you will see the update now alongside ios 26 beta 6 re-release we also got ios 26 public beta 3 i already did a video about that so you can go to the channel and check out that video um the update size if i talk about of ios 26 public beta 3 is around 10 gigs but ios 26 beta 6 re-release is around 2 gigs it definitely depends on the iphone that you are using and from which version you are coming so my this device over here is running ios 26 um beta 3 and my this device is running iOS 26 uh, beta 6. This is public beta 3. This is developer beta 6. I haven't installed the re release yet. As you can see, I will install the re release after the video. But I personally believe Apple come uh, with the re release to you know match the build number of these both versions. Now, in terms of features, both versions are same. If you get into the um, about section of public beta 3 and also the developer beta 6. This is not the re-released again as you can see the build number is pretty much same but there is c at the end of the build number on the beta 6 and on the public beta 3 there is f at the end of the build number other than that it is same it is 23a 5318f this is 23a 5318c so there is like last uh, alphabet last data difference and i believe that this uh, the, if i install the um developer beta 6 re-released they are gonna be same so that is one thing so this is the i think main reason of re-released they want to just match the build number um if i talk about how things been going on um i missed a couple of features and one of them is the ringtones i know i did mention that there are new ringtones but if i go to the um sound and haptics over here into the ringtone there is another ringtone that is known as little bird over here as you can see i missed that so it, this is why i'm just mentioning this over here other than that whatever the new features are i have covered those things in all of my previous videos now i'm using beta 6 for like a couple of days now like there's been like three days now i'm using beta 6 and i think this is a perfect time to talk about how the beta 6 is going on how is the battery life how is every other thing so I just want to you know, put my device over here. I want to talk about the battery life for a bit. So I use my device a lot in last few days. Maybe not much today. But other than that, I use my device a lot. Being very honest with you guys. And I want to share you how these days went. So if I get into the battery usage. Let's go over here. As you can see, I use 79% of my device. And I got 5 hours and 37 minutes screen on time. Now during this time I was active on Netflix, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp and also Geekbench. And other day I used 62% of device and this time I got 5 hours and 6 minutes screen on time. Again my main usage was Netflix, YouTube, TikTok, WhatsApp and Snapchat. On another day I used it around like 68% and this was just 2 hours and 7 minutes. Um, the mainly I was using Blackmagic Cam app. Now this app is quite heavy because I'm shooting. I'm always shooting in 4K 30 FPS. So when you're shooting in 4K 30 FPS, it is consuming a lot of battery life. Now I'm just ignoring this day. If I can talk about the first two days for the 93% battery health, iPhone 11 running iOS 26 beta 6. It's a decent battery life. You cannot say it is the best battery life. It's a good battery life. It's not bad battery life. It's a decent battery life. It is acceptable. But I think Apple need to bring more improvement. Um, if I talk about the Geekbench for a bit. Or overall the performance. Overall performance is decent. I'm not seeing any bugs so far. Like there were crash bugs going on. And many other bugs going on. I haven't faced any of them again. So that is a good thing. If we get into the CPU history over here. Like this was the last time I ran the test. 1781 on a single core. 4008 on a multi-core. Both cores are higher than the average one as you can see. Which is a good thing. 
so in terms of scores it is also a good update and our performance is nice and battery is decent but i believe there is room for improvement when it comes to the battery life other than that we also got ios 18.6.1 as you can see and i will talk about this update in my upcoming video so make sure to subscribe the channel there is nothing much to talk about being very honest but definitely a full-fledged video will also come soon that's all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in the next video until then take care peace out